How y'all doing? Should be here. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about something that all new players and a lot of even experienced players have a hard time dealing with, and that is gear fear. Now, what is gear fear? It's the fear of losing your gear. Spend all this time, get all this money, buy that bright, shiny new gun, and you're afraid of taking it in and getting killed with it. Furthermore, you'll have guys later on that have lost everything and they have absolutely no problem. Like, oh, I don't care if I lose this slick. I don't care if I lose this mutant. But time and time again, when they're put in scenarios where things are going down, you're getting those two-way firefights, they're slow to make decisions and end up getting themselves killed. And that is still gear fear. And before we get too far into this, if you haven't already, consider hitting that like and that subscribe button. I come out with new videos every Friday. I also stream over on Twitch every Sunday, Friday, Tuesday. I'm sure everyone's heard this saying i can go into a raid with just a pistol and nothing else and i'll kill the biggest child on the map but as soon as i go into a raid kitted i get wrecked why is that gear fear whether you know it or not that stems down to gear fear once you're put into a scenario if you don't have anything that you really care about what are you doing you're making quick decisions and reacting to situations as soon as in the back of your head you know you have that thermal scope or you know you have that slick that you've had a hard time finding and it just makes you hesitate a little bit where you need to make fast decisions in Tarkov. Once you get into a firefight, if it's not resolved quickly, you need to move. If they know where you are, you need to move. People with gear fear have a hard time doing that. They want to hunker down. If they already know where you are, hunkering down is only going to get you killed because they can reposition it. If they know where you are, you need to react to it and get around them so that you can get them by surprise. If they don't know where you are, then yes, you have a couple more options. You can hunker down. And then maybe they'll come up to you or maybe they'll run off or you can move but either way give a very short window of time in order to make that initial move so that they can't reposition then you may be asking yourself how do i get over my gear fear this stems to another question i see a lot of newer players ask and that is what map should i learn and a lot of times you'll see it posted in reddit or on facebook oh you should learn customs that's a lot of your first tasks or oh customs may be a little too busy Go woods, it's wide open, you have an easier time surviving. Me, personally, factory. When you are a new player and you are trying to get good for like the next wipe, especially if you come in like halfway through a wipe, factory. Grind, factory. Reason being, get confident with your skills and learn the game mechanic. Factory is super small, it's real easy to memorize so you know all the exits and whatnot, but it'll get you into PvP damn near every single raid. Get yourself up in a okay kit, a pistol, or everyone's favorite, a shotgun. Go to factory with some flechette and just start wrecking people. Or getting wrecked probably at first. But the more confidence you build up and the more encounters you get, the more you'll know what you should be doing in those situations. Then, when you do eventually kill that real thick boy that has the slick and the altin and the mutant, just throw it on. It was free to you. If you let it sit there, it's going to eventually disappear anyways. But when the wipe happens, everything goes away. Put it on. Go in. See how your skills translate. You might get instantly wrecked. If you do, start over. If you need to make some money, do a scav run on another map like Woods or Interchange make some money there. But PMCs, factory. When you're doing factory, pay attention. What are the sounds of Tarkov? Sounds are a huge part of Tarkov. Everyone has their mixed feelings about the sound in Tarkov. But nonetheless, sound does play a big part. The different kinds of sounds that different metal makes. The different sounds that different guns makes. What scavs sound like when they're just chatting versus when they're aggroed. Use those. Take them all in. And use them to your advantage. Then once you're able to get those pre-fires. And understand where people are. And understand what they sound like when they're above you or below you. Or hey, when someone throws a grenade, maybe I should push it. Instead of running away from it because they're stuck in an animation. Then you can take those skills and move them to a different map with hopefully when it's all said and done less gear fear get rid of the mentality that i'm going to lose the gear and start embracing the mentality that the gear makes what i already am better at what i'm doing once you do that the lows will feel less low in tarkov but the highs will feel just as high and you'll start really enjoying yourself so hope you guys enjoyed like i said before if you haven't already hit that like hit that sub Going by next Friday for another new video. Until then, catch you guys next time.